Let's delve into the wonderful world of a junk journal vintage collage. Hello and welcome to The Treasured Page. I'm Melanie and this is our quiet crafting space. Today I'm pulling out my junk journal which I've made using some flyers that came through the door and I found a paper bag so I am going to be using that today as a substrate to collage onto and I'm just removing the top of it just to shorten it down. It's quite a thin paper bag and um, I'm strengthening it up by the folds on the side, folding it in half to make a little booklet cover if you will, I'm not really sure, but I want to house the prompts for for the Junk Journal July. I want something to um, put them onto, back them onto, so I'm shortening the paper there. Just some packaging paper. It's very, very thin and I'm going to use some stick glue to glue down the sides and then strengthen them up just a little bit. I want to add this to this journal that I've used um, to show you on a previous video I've made that and um, that was with the fabric from Tim Holtz, uh, the Distress Range and um, I'm now just pulling out some random old scraps of um, squares that I've been using for co um, well collage but also for quilting in the past so from an old project there just pulling them out and having a look I want four squares really they're not very big I think I think they're four inch I think they're four by fours anyway yes must be I'm just cutting them into four pieces there pulling them apart to get the frayed edge and it is just 100% cotton they're a little bit vintage I've had them a really long time and I'm just using some scissors there just to snip into them and pull them apart that's all I'm going to be playing with here is scraps of fabric but this could be paper torn up as well for this effect so on, along the top of that paper bag you can see two of the strips that I've placed there already I'm going to do a scrappy collage just with the stick glue that starts the process off and allows this to uh, just stick down those fabrics there. I want to create a rough edge so I'm just thinking that through at the moment. I'm thinking shall I cut that and then I'm thinking no. I'm going to re-stick that and put that so it overhangs and I'll do that on both sides. Now this is for a prompt coming up. This is the prompt on the Junk Journal in July for day 10. Number 10 is thread and I wanted to use threads and sewing I thought that that would be the best way to answer the prompt for me because I do enjoy sewing. I'm going to be getting the sewing machine out and I'm going to be stitching these on. So I've just used my YooHoo stick glue to just create a little bit of a sticky background so that they they don't move. And I'm overlapping them and working all the way down to the bottom here as you can see. Just alternating the colours putting the last piece in there and there we go that's done that's a really nice scrappy collage it feels lovely and it will fold in half just pushing that all down you can see the rough edge I'm thinking I'm just going to leave that but you could trim it so here it is now back from the sewing machine I've even trapped in there's all the threads I've even trapped in a little piece of vintage lace which I found so I'm pleased with that I'm just sitting here doing this voiceover because it was a nice relaxing thing to do. That's the beauty of junk journaling. There you can see all the stitching, variegated thread being used there and that was the only scrap, the only scrap that came off was that little pink piece where I just trimmed it a little bit. And then I'm leaving that rough edge. I just love it. I think it's great. I don't think we need to be precise here. This is junk journaling. It's, um, you know, the less effort the better here. We're just problem solving. Um, sorting out what we want to do with some rogue scraps of fabric that I've got no other intention of using for any other project because there was only a few left. So I'm just shortening the prompt list there. Now this comes from Meg Journals. Um, you can find her on Instagram and it's also in conjunction with Get Messy Art. So that's Get Messy Art. You can find the prompt list on their website. There's also a digital download, a party pack that you can get and you'll see in a, in a little bit later on that I start using some of the images from their pack that you can get. So it's a two page printout printable, it's really quite fun and I'm just 
getting there, that's the journal that I'm using. Everything's covered in threads now. <laughs> and I've just put some random papers in there. Nothing special. There's a little elastic so it allows me to put that in easily to trial it out and see if I like it. I think the colours quite work well with that green. So we've got green and pink. Now the theme for the Junk Journal July this year, 2024, is to have some pink. And it is a colour that I often shy away from. It's uh, I like pink, but not necessarily when I'm doing grunge journals. I, I find it a struggle to add it in, but I think I'm, I'm doing quite well here, adding all sorts of different green tones and thinking, well, you know, natural green goes with the pink and think about nature and roses and, and flowers where we would see beautiful pink carnations and uh, peonies and they're one of my favourite colours. They're one of my favourite flowers, pink peonies. So I I don't know why I shy away from pink, but there we go. Here we are embracing it in a very row rough junk journal. No rules applied here. Just throw it together any which way. Great fun. Feels lovely. Nice sensory tactile piece and soft to touch got a slight crinkle with that paper bag and I thought I'd just make a pocket. Now this was an image that came from Meg Journal's uh, party pack so that was part of the digital kit that she provided. It was all for free, just go to Get Messy Art, um, their website and you can you can download all of this in the little prompt list there. So there's all the prompts for this month and you will be able to put it all together. Now we are already through some of the month and um, I'll show you as we progress through this video how I've put together the pages. The next one that I'll show you is the very first page. So if you're just starting out, give you a bit of inspiration just to start with Spark number one. That is there, you can see that. And then we've got postcard, fold, labels and lettering. So I've done all of those. And I'm just uh, now coming down, I wanted to do thread, which is number 10 to try and be ahead of the game. <laughs> um, and I shall, I'm just adding that um, black ribbon there which you can see is a tape measure I thought that picked out quite nicely with the background fabric that I've got I've just glued everything together just using junk mail through the post and folding it in half and then covering it in fabric and bringing in that little scrap I was so pleased to just get one little scrap off of that project so I'm just making a little tab here and using a vintage stapler and a little tiny staple going on there. And I've got copper staples, I've found that, um, in a junk shop. It's a delightful find. I was very pleased to find the copper staples. They're all original, so it is a vintage stapler. And I'm just wanting to bring in vintage pieces, a vintage feel. I just love that era of working with maybe Victorian style stuff. I also like the 1940s, anything like that. Just love it just nostalgic, relaxing, reminds me of ooh, happy times, happy childhood times, good memories. Um, it's a nice escapism. So anybody unfamiliar with junk journaling, this is junk journaling at its best, using old scraps of paper that you can't really put anywhere else. And I'm just using a stencil here that I've got, a really lovely stencil. I like this, nice and intricate. I can't tell you where I got it, I can't remember, just uh, off Amazon, I think. I'm using Distress Oxide ink in Bundled Sage. And then this is from the Party Pack, the digital kit provided by Meg Journal. So I'm going to be using this green um, paper here that you can see. And this has got a lovely image on it of a crystal. Now you can see the prompts there. The first prompt is Spark, so this is Spark. And I've used this from their pack, which is a crystal thinking that that's sparkly and I want to add that and bring in that green tone which is all provided there for you so I'm just chopping it up and layering it diagonally across the page which goes in the other direction to the diagonal stencil that I put across there so that we'll be able to see little bits of that stencil coming through and um, in the same colour tone, I think that that works quite well, picking up some of the intricate patterning that you can see on the digital kit. 
and also on the background. But you could use this from any image, a book, cut it out, magazine, anything. I'm not too keen on shiny things, so I do like matte paper, so I'm enjoying using this. And now I'm just looking at my washi tape, looking at my scraps. This is all about going through your scraps and using up stuff. I do like junk journaling in July because of that very reason. It just means I can clear away some of the stuff that has been floating around my craft room and my desk. Digging about trying to find things that fit the prompt always helps me find new things and spaces sparks off new ideas so this is all part of spark sparking off inspiration sparking ideas igniting creativity and uh, it is such a relaxing way to just spend some time with yourself with your creative mind and see what you can achieve looking through all the things that you might have past projects and little bits of stuff you might have collected such a as fabric or trim I like this because it's sparkly and it actually has the little sparkle crystals on it and it's got this gold embroidery it's really beautiful I'm just working out where it might look nice I think that's a bit too top heavy so I decide that I'm going to stick that down on the side I want to keep the sparkles because we're dealing with the idea of spark and sparkly and I've got the crystal image in the middle there so I wanted to bring in some little rhinestone crystals which I never use or hardly ever use and I love using them and um, that's really fun to be able to put it down on a collage so I'm just building it up so you can see I've started with a tea stained paper which already had some ink splodges on it which was a bit random it was a bit of a grungy piece of paper and it was that stain on the original paper that made me think right we're doing green because it's already got green on there even though I'm covering it up now I'm still using the green tones so this is a green piece of chiffon fabric I've got the green ink that I put on the background and I've got green in the printable so it's it's the green theme coming through here green on the washi tape and that was all sparked off by the piece of paper that I was originally seeing otherwise if it was summer if I'd had a red splodge I'd be doing red or blue I'd be doing blue um, and also it works really well because the green of the cover and so when you open it up the green cover you'll start with a green page that's the thought behind why I'm doing this in green and also because these things were to hand and I like green I like organic things and I like gardening <laughs> and now I'm going to emphasize that sparkly crystal in the middle just using my paint and these are watercolor paints and this is an iridescent silver color and I'm just pushing the paint around really over that digital image trying not to get it too saturated because I'm aware that the ink could smudge so I'm just lightly coating it over the top with this sparkly watercolour paint great fun and I you can see it's sort of bubbling up a little bit I've got to be a bit careful I'm adding some gold in there as well down the bottom and then start colouring it in with my paintbrush, just using the paints and slowing down my mind and relaxing and thinking about all the things that are meaningful to me and what's going on for me that day, just as you can do in your craft room and how you can relax and just have a little play and just add some words to make it all make sense. Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. That's what I've chosen from the Tim Holtz small chat words that you can get from the distress range. There we go. And you can see a close up. And I've also added a stamp in a green tone and this wonderful lady from the Roaring Twenties. That is from Clee Black Creations Digital Kit. Beautiful image there, a very sparkly lady in all her jewels. So I thoroughly enjoyed that. That has been absolutely great. I hope you've enjoyed watching that and um, I will leave you there. So thank you very much. And above everything else, just slow down and make crafting time for you. Bye bye now. <laughs>